Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. I'm reacting to something that just says ballet shoes. So we can go in so many different directions. I don't even know what's going on. This is an audience submission, so thank you for sending that in. Let's see what's going on. Ballet. More popular in Britain today than <laughs> this ever before. Voiceover. Iconic. Oh my gosh, this tutu is amazing. I love this. Form of theatrical performance is high. So Not cute. So years, which is more than can be said for the ballet shoes. Even for True. Practice, a pair a month is the average wear, and a professional needs wow. a new pair every night. Still the same. Oh my gosh, look at how soft this shoe is. That platform is like not even a platform. Our specialist firms like this one in the heart of London. Oh my gosh, it's so funny how like it's not that different how it's made still. That's hilarious. I'm so scared that this guy's gonna get his finger <laughs> stuck in there. Using either glacé kid or canvas or even satin. Oh, I love this. Because a ballet dancer is often on her toes. This is like Charlie and the Chocolate the Factory for me, you know. The ballet shoe. And there is no choice. Your it kind of looks very light exactly the same. <laughs> the, fa the point shoe factories now. On the you know, machines, certain called, things I'm like, yeah, innovation's great and all, but. Does everything have to be reinvented? It's so great. It's so fun. Oh, this is the the turn shoe method. So you make the point shoe inside out and then you flip it over and then you hammer it. It's still made exactly the same. This is why your point shoes, even if it's the same shoe, same size, same maker, it might still feel different because see how they're hand smearing the glue? This is still how they make it. So depending on how much glue you're smearing on, how you hammered the shoe. <sighs> the pleats, this is how the pleats are made underneath the the platform, right underneath the platform. After drying, the soles are stitched onto the uppers and the whole shoe is ready to be turned outside in. For the making, as in the making of pumps and slippers, is done. I don't have quite nice of a voice as this guy's voiceover, but yo. This never gets old. Shoes like these, with their necessarily short lives, have to be cheap to buy. But the quality of the materials and workmanship has never been allowed to suffer. The same standard is always maintained. And the shoes which are supplied now to schoolgirl and ballerina alike are the same as those which were once made for the great Pavlova herself. Mm. That's so crazy, right? What is this from the 50s or something? Yeah, this is by director Anello David before being sent out. They may not last long, but they will be dancing the loveliest steps of all. The dances of the ballet. Oh my gosh. This is so magical to me. I love it. I can't believe like how similar it is, how it's still made. It's made exactly the same like 50 plus years later. That's wild. Still love it. Still love going to the factory and seeing how the point shoes are made. It's just gorgeous. Some things are really cool, just even old school. Thanks for submitting.